this video, we'll talk about the duplication of purchase law. I'm Max from Victoria University in Melbourne, Australia. Hi, how are you going? Good. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Sure. I just wondered why you have the selection of shampoos in your trolley that you've got. Right, um, well I've got these ones, the head and shoulders. Um, so these are for daily family use. Right. Um, I've got this one, this one is for me. Yep. And then Dove is for my husband because he's got really soft hair. Right, okay, great. Thank you very much. Thanks. See ya. So the fact that we have a range of shampoos in this trolley is a good demonstration of the duplication of purchase law. In this case, we see that Tiff was going to buy them for different family members, but individuals actually do this themselves. Individuals are loyal to a number of brands, a small number of brands, not just one. And this is known as the duplication of purchase law, and it means that we are polygamously loyal to a repertoire of brands. Here we see an example of a duplication of purchase table. It's taken from the Taylor Nelson Sofra super panel uh, of UK shoppers. It's a sample of about 10,000 consumers. And as you can see, the penetration of each brand is presented. It has a green ring around it. And Dawood Burt is the largest brand and has 16% of the market using it. Tesco has a penetration of 11%, Sainsbury's nine, and so on and so on. So these are all coffee brands available in UK supermarkets. But if we look across, you can see that Tesco's brand coffee, which is only available in Tesco supermarkets, 11% of the market are using it, so the penetration is 11%. But of that 11% of the market, 16% are actually also buying Sainsbury's. So you can see in red there, we've got a circle around the Sainsbury's brand also being bought. So 16% of respondents who bought Tesco also bought Sainsbury's coffee at some point, and so on. What you'll notice here, is as you go across the table, you'll see that the duplication declines. So every brand in the market duplicates across the largest brand most of all, and then each other brand in order of market share declining. So the smallest brand in the market does share customers with all other brands, but of all those other brands' customers, the least proportion of customers use the smallest brand. So every other brand is used in line with each other brand's market share. And that is basically the duplication of purchase law. These tables are very handy to see that cross-purchasing that happens. And that's how we know that consumers have repertoires of brands that they use. This slide shows us the duplication of purchase of Coca-Cola drinkers and cola drinkers generally. This data comes again from the Taylor Nelson Sofras super panel in the UK of about 10,000 shoppers. And you'll see that there isn't actually much brand loyalty across the different types of colas. And customers of all brands are shared with other brands. This relates to the How Cola Wars Are Really Fought case. You may wish to now look at that case and answer the questions, and look at this table of data in answering the questions. While many of the patterns we've seen in duplication of purchase relate to fast-moving consumer goods, that's really not because they only apply there, but because that's where most data is available. Surprisingly to most marketers, this pattern of having repertoires of brands and duplication of purchase actually applies in things that we traditionally think are high involvement purchases. For example here, we see a table of luxury fashion brands from Jenny Romanek's and Byron Sharp's book on how brands grow, part two. You see here that all luxury brands actually share their customers in line with market share. So the duplication of purchase law also applies even in luxury brands, and it also applies in product categories, even like luxury cars. So BMW and Mercedes and other luxury car brands actually share customers in line with each brand's respective market share. So again, if we were to table that like this, we would see the same thing. And if you want to see that, uh, look up the article by Colombo, Ehrenberg and Sabalava from uh, the Canadian Journal of Market Research in the year 2000 and you will see that exact thing
presented in that paper.